These primary debates is the kind of debate that you find typical in these kinds of primary fights. Few disagreements over policy and the main fight actually broke out over each other's resumes. Now, current Sheriff Russ Skinner is seeking to remain in the office. He was appointed to earlier this year when former Sheriff Paul Pinzone had stepped down. Now, during his hour on the stage, Skinner counted his decades of experience working at Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. But his opponent, Tyler Camp, said Ty uh, that Skinner's experience was actually a big problem. Camp is a 20 year veteran of the Phoenix Police Department. He said Skinner's resume includes working under Joe Arpaio. It was under Joe Arpaio's leadership that the Sheriff's Department had engaged in racial profiling. And for that reason, Camp said the public will never trust Skinner. And when I travel the country, uh, Arpaio still looms over the county. Uh, I often, when I tell people I'm from Arizona or Phoenix, they say, oh, is that the county where Sheriff Joe uh, was, was, was running for so many years? And it's it's, it's, a, it's a stain on our community, and it's still felt, uh, and there's still distrust in the community. This is, this is a big deal, and uh, anybody who's been associated with Sheriff Opio in, in the eyes of many in our community, they're just never going to trust that person. To, to allocate that somebody that's been with the agency bears the front and same leadership style as somebody that served in the past is absolutely wrong. And that'd be like saying Mr. Camp here who served with Phoenix and right now we're, they're looking at a DOJ investigation impending federal degree and saying, well, he's just as guilty uh, of being part of that organization. You can't pin employees with leadership. Now Skinner was obviously referring to that recent Department of Justice report that found that Phoenix Police Department had violated constitutional rights and engaged in racial profiling. Camp also questioned uh, Skinner's political affiliation. Skinner was a lifelong Republican before he recently switched to become a Democrat so he'd be eligible to get appointed sheriff after Penzone had stepped down. Both of these candidates are Democrats, and there was a lot of agreement tonight, you told us. Yeah, there is a lot of agreement. You see that a lot in primary fights. That's why sometimes you see these primaries, they get very ugly because they're arguing over personalities and other things that don't have nothing to do with policy. You know, for example, some of the things they were agreeing on um, was, you know, immigration enforcement. Big issue here with the voters. Voters are going to have a say, could possibly have a say on a, on a big immigration ballot measure that the legislature sent to the ballot. Um, um, and they both agreed, they both told us I mean, after the debate that they had no intention of engaging in, you know, enforcing federal immigration law, no matter what the voters said in November or not, that they're not going to do it. So that's an instance mm -hmm. where they are agreeing over a major issue facing mm -hmm. voters this year. And of course, the Republican uh, debate for County Sheriff will be tomorrow night. So we'll that'll, that'll be tomorrow yep. night. So we'll, keep, we'll just keep it going. Right? <laughs> All Let's right. Keep it Thanks, going. Dennis.